hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland. This is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. If you'd like to support this free service, please go to paypal.me forward slash Jason Newland. The link is also on my website, along with over 1,000 recordings that you can stream free and also download free. They're all organized on there. So I'd like you to close your eyes after getting yourself comfortable, either sitting in a comfortable chair which supports your body and or lying down on your bed or some other flat surface. Now just like you to get in touch with how you feel right now and remember of course there may be background sounds in the background but that's okay it's uh we got a local neighbour that was taught how to whisper in a helicopter. So it's very, very loud. <laughs> it's an old joke. It's not my joke, obviously. But So, and my tummy's rumbling for some reason. Weird, because I've just eaten. So just get yourself in touch with how you feel right now in this moment noticing what's getting in the way of you relaxing completely and if you choose falling asleep Now quite often, it can be your mind, perhaps seemingly overactive, mind chatter, or continuously thinking of stuff that you perhaps don't really want to think about in this moment. So what I thought we could do is focus just on your mind. I like to think of the mind as being a bit like the TARDIS, you know, from Doctor Who. You know, you go into a door, but it looks like a small space, but actually it's endless. But a lot of the congregation, a lot of the chatter, is in the main room. People congregate and get together. You know, it's, it seems a little bit like that. The thoughts and everything's kind of very much on the surface in the main lobby, as it were, of your mind. Instead of being in the their own special places that they live within your mind, their own quarters, you know, their own rooms or flats, so they've all come together just to pretty much have a public moan, trying to get your attention, to argue maybe, and that's not useful for you, 
when it comes to relaxing deeply and letting go completely and drifting off to sleep now of course the mind can be manipulated in a way that allows you to feel and experience your own being, you know, your own personal experiences changing all the time. Whether it be physical or whether it be your mind, how you're emotionally feeling always changing always changing continuously so what we can do is start to make changes to that room where all the thoughts are congregating and arguing and discussing loudly stuff that is not relevant in this moment when you want to go to sleep or when you want to relax deeply so What we can do is, to start with, evacuate that room. Send everyone back to their own rooms for now. Because we're going to be doing building work. We're going to refurbish that main lobby where the thoughts congregate when you don't want them to. We're going to refurbish that area. So we request that all those thoughts, memories, ideas, whatever's going on, they will go back to where they live within your mind. You can just shoo them away and they will leave because that's what they have to do. You're the boss. <sighs> it's actually an interesting idea, isn't it? You are the boss. So the thoughts that you didn't want in your mind, you know, in the lobby of your mind, the forefront, that were disrupting your ability to relax, getting in the way of you maybe falling asleep, relaxing deeply, letting go. Those thoughts will do what you tell them to do. Because you just told them to get out of the lobby. You've asked them, you haven't told them horribly, but everyone out, we're doing refurbishment work. And they've done what you've told them. Now this is a new event, isn't it really? This is, ah, uh, huh. see you're in control, you're in charge of your own mind. How does that feel when you think about it like that? 
you just asked or told the thoughts in your mind to leave that lobby area just to leave because you're going to be doing some refurbishment work and they complied and have left and there's nothing going on there now they've all gone to their places that they live in your mind maybe their own you know rooms or living quarters or whatever wherever thoughts go to Ah, it's interesting, isn't it? Now you know. Makes you wonder what else you can ask your mind to do. Perhaps we should test it. Ask your mind to relax your legs twice as relaxed. twice as relaxed as they are now just ask your mind now and just notice how your legs feel relax my legs twice as relaxed or my legs feel twice as relaxed that's another way that you can request your mind to give you what you want my legs feel my legs now feel twice as relaxed Noticing your legs. And it works on your legs. So will it work on your arms? Pretty sure it would do. There's no reason not, is there? So we can test it. So you can just repeat after me. My legs, are my arms rather, are twice as relaxed now. <laughs> I noticed that not just my arms, but my whole upper body became more relaxed. My lower back just kind of took it upon itself to <laughs> have some of that relaxation. So now your arms are more relaxed, your legs are more relaxed. Let's focus on our, on our back. So repeat after me. My back is twice as relaxed. And just observe your back relaxing. Wow. This is really easy, isn't it? It's really easy. So, you know, you can word it however you want to word it. Another way of wording it would be as we focus on your face. My face feels twice as relaxed now. Focus on your face. Just enjoying it. Sorry, I should come back. Um, so your hands. Let's do our hands next. My hands feel twice as relaxed now. Focus in. nice my 
might as well do our feet, I guess, while we're at it. My feet feel twice as relaxed now. That's nice. Nice feeling. Might as well just go for the whole thing. My entire body feels ten times more relaxed now. find that you start to drift even though I'm going to talk through the refurbishment of your mind of that lobby area you may find that if you want to fall asleep that That's what's going to happen. Or you could say the words that I'm about to say. You could repeat them. My mind is drifting to sleep. Now. for those that wish to listen to the refurbishment of that lobby in your mind that place where the thoughts maybe get a bit too loud a bit too chaotic at times What we're going to do, we're going to add soundproofing in every wall of that lobby. So there's four walls, it's a big room, but each wall is now going to be ten times thicker. to soundproof that room and even though the walls are ten times thicker the space inside is still the same it's your mind always expanding changing, growing, shrinking expanding, changing Continuously moving, growing. So now, with that soundproofing, you can put some in the floor as well, ten times thicker than the floor, and the ceiling ten times thicker than the ceiling.
so that your mind cannot be affected any longer by any negative thoughts because this soundproofing is very very particular it's very sensitive and it only blocks certain thoughts it blocks negative thoughts the soundproofing blocks unhelpful thoughts it blocks thoughts when you want to relax and when you want to fall asleep it can block all thoughts in those moments When you're not asleep, and you're not trying to fall asleep, positive thoughts can be heard even more clearly. In fact, they are almost exaggerated in sound. It turns up the volume of positivity and kind thoughts kindness towards yourself those things you say to yourself that are nice generous kind caring will be heard louder Another thing that this soundproofing does is there's a certain magic involved because with negativity not only does it stop the sound of negativity getting out at all times it actually it sucks the energy out of the negativity turning that negative thought into dust turning negative thoughts into dust Thoughts where you're being cruel to yourself, saying unkind and uncaring things to yourself, turn to dust. And there's this special circle on the ceiling. And it emits a silent sound of heathing. That spreads through your mind into every single part of your mind going through all the tunnels all the different places within your mind that healing energy spreads and grows healing 
24 hours a day. Healing your mind all day and all night. Healing your mind all the time. Relaxing your body. Deeply. And as I count down from ten down to one, your body will relax ten times deeper with every number you hear me say. times more relaxed in every part of your body. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Two. Mm. 